What's up, Aries? My name's Lisa, for those of you that don't know. I'm going to do an energy for you and your person. So there could be like a little bit of a, um, I'm hearing hibernation that the you and your person are going through, or just even if you don't know this person, it's like that's what you guys are doing. Uh, you're just kind of like recuperating. It's like a resting phase. It's like this time to like, you're really processing like what you want, how you want to move forward in your life, um, exploring. So uh, there could be some sort of disconnect from your person right now, or you are like, you consider yourself single, okay? Because you're not with your person. I, I heard like single-ish, okay? Like there's, a, you feel this person's energy around you, but like maybe nothing's been set in stone, nothing's been solidified, nothing's even been said. It's just, so you both are kind of just doing your own thing, all right? And it says your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Yeah, this is also like the Mercury retrograde. Okay, um, what's at the bottom of the deck? So this is what, but yeah, focus on the love. So it's like, I feel like if you do know this person and you guys are like on a break or whatever, um, like they're showing me like Ross and Rachel, like on a break. So, um, there's, there's something here about things having, um, consequences. Cause you know how they had that fight, they were on a break and then they got back up, but in between the break, like. Um, Ross slept with somebody else and like, they were like, we were on a break, but it was like very hurtful. So it's like, I feel like even though you guys are kind of like exploring your options, there's a, something being like, there's like this energy of to pay attention, like even though you're exploring your options, neither one of you have like truly let go of each other. It's like, that's still there. It's like, there's this unfinished business. It's unresolved. And I feel like until you really decide, cause it's still there. And I feel like whatever it is between you and this person, it's like you both are still curious. Like you still like you're, you're wanting to know, like, so I don't really feel like anything can, it's like neither one of you are willing yet to truly commit to anything else because this is still here. There's like another energy around. Okay. So, um, it says look for the good attributes in each other and every person in your life. Okay. So it's like, yeah, see something hasn't been truly revealed, completely revealed. You could have had to walk away or they walked away from you, something. Okay. Like, I just feel like everything hasn't been said yet. Okay. And the divine is saying to still consider them, even though you're walking alone for the moment and to focus on the beautiful parts and not the parts that are kind of blocking this energy from coming together. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. All right. Give me one card for the divine feminine, feminine energy in this connection. Ooh, are right, you getting two? this could be the one and be playful. Yeah. So I feel like there's a knowing that's what I just heard. There's a deep knowing that whomever you're connecting to, is your person but there's also like this it's like you really just have to step out on faith it's like this knowing you just have to trust the knowing that you know because I feel like nothing in your life says that that's your person it's just kind of like what you feel and how you're being pulled yeah, see, chemistry. And it says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Healing family issues. So 
you both could be working on your family dynamics, healing different situations within your separate family dynamics, whether this is like your parents and your siblings, or it's like families that you have with other people. Okay. All right. Give me one card for divine masculine energy. Yeah. See this, this person, um, it's time to disconnect from the world. This, this person may have pulled back their energy and this is because they are kind of doing a, di a deep dive. Okay. Trying to come up with the words to stay. Okay. It says stay optimistic about life. Okay. And I'm also, um, I'm also hearing that this person kind of disconnected from the world after has been kind of disconnected from the world for a while. Like they, they kind of like march to the beat of their own drum. They do their own thing. Okay. <clears throat> Give me one card for the connection currently. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah. I totally feel like both of you want to give this relationship a chance and it says work on your partnership and getting to know each other. So I, I feel like in this one and healing family issues again. So I feel like, um, if this is a rekindling of some sort, it's like, uh, this is a very healing partnership connection. But I also feel like there's like some level of trust like it's it's almost like like i feel like i'm like right on the edge of like saying something but it's not being said and somebody's just kind of like should i i don't know like it's like there's like a a hesitancy and i guess like because like so much has happened or you've been through so much like you see how they're they're holding each other she's holding him tight but it's like she also can't look at him like she doesn't want to let him go, but it's like, so something could have happened here, you know, between the two of you. Yeah. I'm hearing that. Like, just listen to your heart. You know, it's like, just pay attention. So I, I do feel like there's, there's a need for, um, a lot of grounding and just meditation right now. And you're going to be able to put your best foot forward to know, uh, the way to move within this connection. Okay. They're telling me to get some of these cards here. So give me one for divine feminine. I'm learning to stand up for myself. Yeah. So there could have been, this could have been like, you had to lay down the law, like the divine feminine energy here needed to like, yeah, stand up for herself, you know, um, draw a line in the sand and say, Hey, you know, no, you can't, do that. You know, I'm not okay with this. Yeah. Take it easy. So I do feel like you're both kind of like just in this chill mode. Okay. I don't feel like either one is like really like <sighs> considering other options. They're just, you're just kind of like being kind of like flirtatious with life, I guess. All right. Um, Cause it's like lighthearted. Like I feel like you both feel lighthearted and I feel like it's, it's just kind of like the, the exhale after whatever both of you have come out the other side of, as well as like preparing for the initiation of what's to come. Okay. Well, all right. So give me one card here for the divine masculine. I'm seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities. And this again is like the knowing. Okay. Yeah. I'm working on balancing my energy. So this is, this is why if you haven't heard from this masculine, um, this is why, because this masculine is working on stepping into their truly best self. Okay. So that's who they want to, or how they want to show up for you. All right. And where are the
Mm -mm. Oh, here they are. Okay. And let me just get advice here for Aries for the month of May. Advice. Show the world the real you. Yeah, so I feel like both of you are really kind of coming out of your shells. It's like, I feel like you're both completely different people than your past would remember you as. And your past wouldn't be able to relate to either one of you. But it's like, the two of you relate to each other perfectly. But there's still like this resolving or the resolve or, um, yeah, it's time to release negative, um, negativity. Yeah. It's like, this is what I was like trying to say. It's like, there's still like this release of everything that has been so that you can like completely be open to the new you and what's to come with this person. So that's really beautiful, Aries. I'm excited for you. So there you have it. If anyone's interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. All right. Bye guys.